Okay, I can't be the only one who's wondering this. Why do our teeth require so much maintenance? Brushing two, three times a day, flossing, regular dental checkups, and even then, we still get problems. Our dental issues don't even end there. There's wisdom teeth and misalignment and all sorts of inconveniences. So, the answer to this mainly points to our modern diets. This brings the problems to our teeth in two ways. What's particularly special about our mouth is that it houses a lot of bacteria. Some are harmful, some aren't, and are even beneficial. Our modern diets full of carbohydrates and sugars allow the more harmful ones to thrive. Specifically, bacteria like Streptococcus mutans love these conditions, taking in sugars to metabolize into lactic acid that causes tooth enamel to decay, a process called demineralization. The reason why tooth decay is serious is because our body can't regenerate enamel. The thing is, our body actually has natural mechanisms to keep these bacteria numbers under control. Our saliva works by neutralizing the acidity, as well as remineralizing the tooth enamel. So while we can't regenerate enamel, we have a repair mechanism for it. There's also other coexisting bacteria that inhibit their growth, maintaining stable numbers. It's the presence of a lot of sugars that makes the bacteria outweigh the natural protective processes of our body and where the problems like tooth decay come in. But wait, what about our ancient ancestors never needing to take care of their teeth this much? Well, there's kind of a lot of answers to that question. First off, our ancestors' sugar intake wasn't nearly as much as what we are consuming now. Outside of the problem of halitosis, or bad breath, the body's natural mechanisms were enough to suffice for their diets back then, and were able to maintain a stable balance between demineralization and remineralization, or at least better than how it would do now. Life expectancies were also much shorter for our ancestors, so teeth didn't need to stick around for long. This is actually interestingly discovered in different studies that explored dental health and diets. For the most part, the timeline of change from sustenance through foraging to farming coincides with an increase in caries, or tooth decay. This has become more evident during the Industrial Revolution. But studies revealed another important thing. Another property of the food that we have now is that it is softer, and therefore easier to chew. This led to all sorts of crowding and misalignment problems with our teeth. This includes the issue of wisdom teeth. Fossil records showed that our ancestors never had these issues. This is because of our jaws, which have gradually gotten smaller and smaller over time. This made our growing teeth ill-fitted. The reason for this lies in the jaw's development. A correctly developed jaw can fit all the teeth properly. Food was much harder to chew back then, thus requiring more effort for the jaw to eat, allowing it to fully develop. Nowadays. Things like cutlery and cooking and refined diets don't necessitate as much effort from our jaws anymore. That's the hypothesis for the increasing needs for braces, retainers, and other corrective devices alike. Our dental issues don't end there, but when it comes to the question of teeth being high maintenance, those are the major reasons. Would you rather trade our current diets for less teeth maintenance? It's so interesting to think how our teeth can be so strong, yet so fragile.